that beast! You will not get away! Maggie is the new Trapper character, and the way that she differs from the previous Trapper character, Griffin, is uh, that she does have some new abilities, uh, but she also does have her companion pet trap jaw, Daisy. Maggie's gonna use Daisy to actively hunt down the monster. Watch Daisy, follow her. Where Griffin had to place sound spikes down and hope that the monster ran through the sound spikes, Daisy will actually take off after the monster's tracks and even do so much as cut the monster off. This isn't the first time we've hunted monsters, is it, girl? Maggie's also got harpoon traps. So as opposed to Griffin, who's got a harpoon gun, Maggie can plant these traps in the ground that can just stay there. And when the monster passes by that area, he gets ensnared. In a defensive situation, she can lay those traps around her teammates to create a barrier, uh, but she can also use them to cut off the monster's escape. Lazarus is the biggest threat. You have the ability to bring people back from the dead. Arise! For Lazarus, it feels very powerful, but also the monster really doesn't like you and really tries to single you out. So you have to be patient and have to wait for that moment when you can cloak and go in and bring that guy back. Going invisible. Val is, she's our medic that is sort of very straightforward, right? She's got a medic gun, she points the medic gun at the guy that needs healing and he gets healed. Lazarus tends to hang back a bit. He has to be very careful not to expose himself. When you're playing as a monster strategically, you're, you're looking for Lazarus. You want to take him down first because you know he's the key to winning any game that he's in. Hyde is a salty dog. He's crass, uncouth, and he just brings the pain. Suck on this, you bastard! He's got a flamethrower, he's got a chain gun, one in each hand, and he can just switch between them, do massive damage. But he's gotta be up close. <laughs> Say monster's hiding in a cave, Hyde can throw in a toxic grenade. It makes poison gas inside the cave and it flushes the monster out. I really like Markov, he's got his great minds that he can throw out, kind of control the field. But pound for pound, you gotta take Hyde in when you wanna get right in the monster's face and just take him to town. Bucket is our new support class hunter. Whereas Hank was a little more defensive and passive, uh, Bucket's extremely aggressive. I've got a rocket launcher, might as well use it. He's got a pretty funny uh, British accent, which just sets him apart from everybody else. And he's a robot on top of it all. Detaching my head for recon, please do not be alarmed. He can pull his own head off, and it's got little jets on the bottom of it, and he can fly it around, and he can actually tag the monsters for the rest of the hunters on his team to help them track him really early on. And then he's also got sentry guns, which he can deploy. So Hank, he protects his team in a very defensive way. He directly shields somebody who's under attack. Bucket also protects his team, but he does it in an offensive way. So it's kind of cool, because that's what support's supposed to do, find ways to protect the team, but they're doing it in completely different ways. Apparently, I'm pretty good at this. The dam is a new map that we're showing people. The dam is a desert environment, so there are a lot of caves, a lot of twisting caves. It's a little more vertical than the other maps we've shown, and there's also a lot of very tight, enclosed spaces. One of the things that's really going to stand out to a lot of people is that the wildlife in the dam is a lot more aggressive than they've seen before. Oh dear. Mega Mouth, not a rock. I think you voided your warranty. There are Mega Mouths, which will go out and grab hunters uh, and eat them whole. There are Dune Beetles, which will attack hunters, but they'll also uh, feed on the wildlife. So in a way, the monster is going to be competing for food with a lot of the wildlife on the map. Uh. OK, let's kill this thing fast. The hunters and the monster, they're going to be fighting the environment just as much as they're going to be fighting each other. Oh boy, this is going to be a fight! 